Welcome back everybody, I am Raytech and this is another time lapse of the prototype of Castle Story. Alrighty, um, we've got the uh, stockpile area pretty much nailed down here. I had to uh, derp around a little bit with the uh, AI, I think. Yes, it's looking like we're getting a bit stuck in a few places, so uh, I think there's still a lot to uh, work on the uh, pathing on that. But uh, I think I do run into another uh, point where I do actually yeah, run into a pretty major problem, but uh, managed to get it all sorted out in the end. All right, uh, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about time. More importantly, my time. I uh, just thought you'd, you guys would like to know uh, actually what I do with my day. Well, pretty much uh, on a uh, Monday to Friday basis, I get up at 5 a.m. to go to work. I start work at 6 a.m., work an eight hour day to 2 p.m., I wander back home, I get about an hour-ish, actually, uh, it actually takes about 20 minutes for me to get home from work, so that gives me about just under an hour to do pretty much anything that I'd like in the house by myself. Um, generally, I use that, utilize that time to smash out a recording of something, whether it's um, you know, Game of Dwarves or whatever I have, happen to have uh, on the go at the time. Um, the recording for Castle Story I can do any time because it's uh, just generalized gameplay and then I just put it into my editor, speed it up as f to the uh, speed that you see it now and just do a voiceover on top of that. So Castle Story I can record generally any time but uh, yeah that half, that half hour to an hour uh, after work, after getting straight home from work, I generally smash out a recording or something. Uh, then it's uh, off to pick up Kiki from uh, primary school. She's uh, currently in year seven, so uh, still got one more year to, to go till both my daughters are in high school. Yay me. Um, get her home. I generally tend to um, muck around for about 20 to 30 minutes, half an hour. Well, 30 minutes is half an hour, duh. Um, yeah, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then I have to go out and pick uh, Morphe up from the bus stop because uh, she has a, a pretty lengthy commute down to her high school. She goes to an all-girls high school, the only one in the uh, city, and it's uh, roughly about a good half hour, 40 minute commute for her on the bus. But uh, she really enjoys the high school, so and I'm pretty chuffed to actually uh, get her to go to that. Um, also, we'll be uh, sending Kiki along to that too, so um, once Kiki gets to high school, I'll have more time in the afternoon to devote to uh, recording. So, another how many more months? Uh, seven more months-ish, maybe, and then I only get to pick up, do one school pickup rather than the two. Pretty much after I've picked up Morphe, I uh, come home have a shower myself because my job's really grotty. I'm a die setter. Uh, basically, I'm covered in hydraulic oil, sweat. The uh, factory isn't air conditioned that well. Um, it's not so bad during winter. It's pretty good. I mean, most of the machines are like, they have to make plastic molten to inject into molds. That's the uh, dyes I change. Um, but uh, during summer, it's really dry. It's, yeah, it's pretty yucky, honestly. Um, get covered in oil. So pretty much after picking up Morphe from uh, the bus stop, getting home, having half an hour in the shower, and that's generally around about 5.30ish in the afternoon. Actually, no, not quite. About 5ish in the afternoon, and then I'm pretty much straight into cooking dinner, uh, waiting for my wife, Tiger, to uh, get home because she uh, works in the uh, city hut, and we're about, again, about 40 minute commute from our house to where she works in the uh, heart of the city. And um, yeah, so I'm there busy cooking your dinner and waiting for her to come home. She gets home around about uh, 5.15, 5.30. We have dinner. Um, and then, yeah, basically we sit around the table, uh, t talk about our days and um, pretty much we generally settle down to a TV program or or something, you know, for about an hour, or 
all four of us. Um, we're actually all starting to get into uh, exercise as well. We're starting to do a. Uh, if you've he- have you heard of the uh, Wii game Just Just Dance? Yeah, we've started to uh, get into that, and boy, is that a workout. I mean, okay, I'm uncoordinated. I'm a male. I get it. But uh, I, I try my best. And uh, yeah, it's a, definitely a great workout. Do, do build up a decent sweat, and actually, it really does help um, my fitness. Um, I'm generally not that, that I'm, I'm fit myself, but uh, I can always improve. If you think you're fit, or just try and strive to do something and get that next level because you can never go backwards in fitness all right uh, so yeah pretty much it's uh, dinner a bit of TV a TV show or either like a fitness workout that can generally take up to an hour um, so pretty much about uh, 8 30 I'm back at the computer and hitting the editing program and getting the uh, game or either what I've recorded that day put it into the pro the editing program try and make sure that my um, voiceover is synced correctly to the game I don't always get that right um, so don't hate me too much on that as most of us are on YouTube we are still learning our craft um, and even the best of us, even the guys have been doing YouTube for years, they slip up every now and then, and it's funny as hell to see. Also just reminds you that they're human too. Alright, so that's pretty much my day. On a week on a weekday. Weekends are another matter altogether. I generally have family things to do if I'm not roped into uh, working overtime on the weekend so basically it's another 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, shift on generally Saturdays um, that's a bit of a pain in the ass to uh, work six days a week but uh, you got to do what you got to do to make the ends meet um, yes weekends I suppose I don't do a lot around the house. I really should. Um, yeah, I should be getting into the, like the the um, yard work and that sort of thing. But I generally tend to put that off and spend more time playing games, which I really shouldn't do. But uh, oh well. Um, also, uh, I generally uh, on the weekends put together. Well, I sit Morphe and Kiki down. Um, we generally knock out something. Whether it's uh, Worms Revolution, Dungeon Defenders, or actually Morphe and I are considering starting up a, a little um, Sim City Let's Play because I got a, a CD key on the cheap, and uh, we're both playing Sim City together, which is pretty cool. I must admit, um, it's good uh, having like someone in the same room saying, "Okay, that this city is doing this and that," so we can actually bring the multiplayer side of Sim City to you guys. Alright then, so uh, what else can we wrap up on? Well, as you know, YouTubers don't get very far without your support. So pretty much every time you click that like button, you're supporting your YouTuber. Every time you make a comment, you're putting in added uh, stats to that video. That video gets seen by more people. So as more people see the video, more people click like. And it's a bit of a snowball effect but it starts with a few people. So the YouTubers you watch, do click the like button, do comment, get involved. Get involved with anything. Just if something like tickled your fancy through the video you've watched, just make it like a one-liner or say, keep, oh, my favorite is when I, when I get them is keep up the good work. I cannot hear that enough. If I'm having a down day and YouTube analytics is uh, kick me in the teeth as it does every now and then and you're feeling a little bit blue and you get the uh, one person come back and saying keep up the great work and it's like yeah okay and you get back on the saddle and you keep going. So in saying that um, yeah do click the like button uh, not just on this video on all the videos that you like, the people you you watch, support them, support me, support everybody. 
we'd like the, the people that actually put the time and effort into making these videos I'm sh damn sure they would like to make it a bit of a career I know I do it's my semi-retirement plan um, I've got another 10 uh, 20 years to go before retirement so I'm not unrealistic and uh, expecting to get a, a decent career off the ground at least in 20 years but uh, yeah, I'll be plugging away for that long and well into my uh, golden age my golden years if as long as we've still got internet by then you know, who knows what we've got but uh, as long as we're still now being able to get videos out to you that's what we're doing okay so uh, yeah wrapping this up <laughs> sorry I am waffling again like I am prone to do yeah click like share it to your Facebook share it to your Twitter um, I don't know if any there's any other social uh, sites that you share th uh, these sort of things too but those are the two main ones let's wrap this one up until next time